the beauty of science. These magnesium sulfate structures are seen here magnified a thousandfold. This is a cross-section of genuine moon rock. Turning the ordinary into something extraordinary, fragments of an LCD monitor become art under the microscope. Like this metal surface on show as part of a retrospective of the work of microphotographer Manfred Kager. For the past five decades, he's opened a window to the world of wonders invisible to the naked eye. You have to imagine being in an invisible world that's invisible because it's extremely small, smaller than an ant. You discover things there that you couldn't imagine in your wildest dreams. It surpasses nearly all of the characters created in science fiction and fantasy film. Everything's really in a Lilliputian miniature world. And making that visible with the help of microscopes, macroscopes and endoscope technology, that's microphotography. At the Schloss Weissenstein Castle in southern Germany, Kaga founded the Institute for Scientific Photography and Cinematography in 1959. His goal was to study microscopic images. Looking through a microscope, if you've set it up well, is like opening a door and entering a parallel world. A world that doesn't at all correspond to day-to-day -to -day happenings. And this parallel world presents these tremendous organisms that represent diversity and a peculiar life that you normally would never be able to imagine. Kago was born in 1935 near Leipzig. He studied chemical engineering before working at a laboratory in Wiesbaden. But he spent his free time on artistic pursuits and joined an artist's group with painter Christa Möhring. At first, the group failed to understand his fascination with microscopic photography. They said, you're always mouthing off, but we can never see what the big deal is. So I thought I'd show them, and I brought a box full of 100 black and white enlargements for the next time we met. And they said, that's not art, it's nature. But then Christa Möhring said that it was art, because you see these pictures in a way that you've never seen them before. His passion for microphotography has led him to chart ever new territory. A pioneer in his field, he used a special filter to add color to his black and white shots. His invention was revolutionary. The structures of most crystals are colorless, but adding a filter lends them contrast. A second filter, the polychromator, fragments and disperses the light. Parts of the spectrum are isolated to create color. The way I create pictures is like tuning an organ, or the way they do work with Photoshop today. Only it's something I came up with in 1957, years before computer technology made it possible to alter color. Kaga's love of microscopic worlds was born when he was a boy of eight and his uncle let him study water from a nearby pond through his microscope. Now 75, he looks back at a venerable career. His work has been published in magazines all over the world. He's won many awards and his name is inextricably linked to the discipline of microphotography. Is it an artistic science or a scientific art? I like creating art with the intelligence available in the 21st century, like photographing the dark side of the moon, using the same technology that would be used for that. I don't really mind if it passes as art or is seen as merely technology or science. I just wanted to take pictures that defied most artistic, aesthetic and formal principles. Manfred Kaga moves easily between these worlds. A Kaga picture can cost up to 7,000 euros. What makes them so special is the passion he imbues in his work and his skill in making the invisible visible for all to see.